Enjoy with your headphones for a better listening experience. Please watch till the end of the video to have the most scariest part of the story. The unspoken verdict. In the deathly quiet courtroom, all eyes were on me. The atmosphere was thick and charged, with the weight of a life at stake. I stood there, composed yet determined. I had decided to defend myself in this case. To be fair, I didn't have much of a choice. For some reason, my case had gathered the attention of the entire nation, as I was being charged with the unforgivable crime of murder. As my case was being fought and I could see it slipping away from me, turning against me, I heard the cries of the lonely family I had burdened with death. It hurt, but I couldn't give up. I had to win my case. I had to fight it. My actions were justified, and I intended to prove it. As my trial unfolded, I explained that my actions really were justified. I was pushed to this. I was pressured to the edge in a society where I had no other choice, with struggles that no one had bothered to acknowledge. I tried to paint a picture of a world of suffering and individuals not having a place to speak. I truly believed that the system as it had me and that it wasn't my fault. As the jury listened, they began to feel a bit of empathy and understanding towards my story. My words seemed to have struck a chord with them, and they began to sympathize with me as I stood before them, fighting for my right to be heard. But as the trial neared its conclusion, subtle clues began to emerge, hinting at a truth that had remained untold. My insistence on representing myself, my detailed knowledge of legal procedures, my uncanny ability to anticipate the prosecution's arguments all pointed at a deeper mystery lurking beneath the surface. On the final day of the trial, as I prepared to deliver my closing statement, I pleaded with the jury to look beyond the surface and to recognize my humanity in my actions, to acknowledge the pain that had driven me to such extremes. My words hung heavy in the air, casting a spell in the courtroom. And then, in a moment of revelation, the truth was laid bare for all to see. As the judge prepared to deliver the verdict, I stepped forward, my heart pounding, and uttered two simple words, I'm sorry. With those two words, the pieces of the puzzle fell into place. The realization dawned on the jury with a sense of profound sorrow. I had been defending myself not in the court of law, but in the court of my own consciousness. I had been battling against myself as I struggled to justify my own existence in a world that had grown increasingly indifferent. As the truth washed over the courtroom, I ceased for a moment to be a defendant and became something else entirely a symbol of the human condition. And as the verdict was decided but it didn't matter to me. In the end, I had already won my case, not in the eyes of the law, but in the hearts of those who had come to understand the depths of my struggle. I was simply sorry. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe. The Internet Surfer on YouTube for more horror and scary stories.